Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters, and today I have with me Lucas C. And this is part two, electric Dos. boogaloo version of uh, <laughs> the model kit car collection of the century. The wow. <laughs> yeah, it's the just, wow. It's crazy. Yeah, we're having fun, aren't we? So I've pulled a whole bunch of boxes together that we're going to show you some incredible stuff that we have found. Uh, not much more to talk about. Let's just take a look let's, at it. Let's, let's, let's. There's so, nothing like just digging in. Exactly. Yeah. So, let's get started. Okay, I know it looks a little messy, and I am gradually going through every single box and taking stuff out and putting it into uh, categories because there's a lot of stuff that's just kind of mix matched together, and I want to kind of keep them all together. I'm working on first all of these brown boxes, and I know it doesn't look like I did much, but I've actually was able to condense. Uh, probably about maybe 15 to 20 of those brown boxes like this one right here in front of you and get all the product out of it and kind of put it together so like what I've done here this box is just all kinds of you know plastic parts bag partial bag kits um, you know nothing complete just all kinds of parts like here's something look at this right here this is a Looks like a bunch of dragster bodies. Looks like probably five or six dragster bodies inside there. So I'm dealing with all kinds of stuff like that and also found boxes of wheels and tires and things. So we're really trying our hardest to put it together. I'm going to take you up front here and show you. I've set up the normal table where I do my intros with a camera and I've pulled out 10 boxes of the banker boxes with some really cool stuff I think you guys are going to want to see inside. So, let's take a look inside. Okay, here is box number one. Number one. Let's take a look inside. Now, he has not seen inside. Well, I take that back. You have seen inside this I've one. I've seen inside this one, but I haven't seen inside any of them. The other Over 11. on my channel, we kind of revealed this one. Yeah, already. so the other 11, <laughs> you won't be totally surprised, but... You were a little surprised. This is a decent uh -huh. one right here. So, so this is just the tip of the iceberg. All righty. Ooh. You know, these are like starting to get looked looked for. But this is one of the real early ones. And this one's... What year is that from? You that's think? 1970. 1970? Uh, well, the, the kit came out. This is like 80s vintage. But this is a 70, 70 Boss Mustang. So they did a lot of versions of it. But that, again... So, really popular kits and we know this one's grown in popularity yes that... for a while it was just a common kit but with Ravel pretty much gone really for the most part we've lost a lot of the Ravel stuff but these uh, these Mustangs are cool okay here is box number two let's take a look inside ready you guys are seeing it I don't see it yet I so oh. well let's look oh yeah now, I saw this right here, and I was like, uh -huh. I have never seen this, this before. Oh, this is really cool. I haven't seen this kit in years. Joey Chitwood was so cool. You know, all of us that were kids in the 70s, he was a hero. And they just, uh, AMT did a line of quite a few cars that were the Joey Chitwood stunt show. I haven't seen that kit literally since the 80s. Really? That's the last time yeah, I saw one. Very that's, cool. I mean, that kit's been put out as far as the Mercury, but there's a lot of cool stuff in that, and that's just cool box art. And then also there was a lot of 66 Malibus running around in this collection. Holy cow. And I've been needing some, so thank goodness. But <laughs> this one, you all know who are on my channel know what this means. <laughs> and this, like and this, this, is yeah, the, this is the uh, um, this is the original box art. That's, that's the one that, that has a little tingling in my heart. But I, I love those. And then real fast, we're going to take a look at, look at all of these parts packs. Oh, parts packs. Parts and this packs. Is look at these parts Complete pack. sets right here. Holy cow, Revell parts packs. Look at that. That stuff's great. And then Especially one other one. vintage rat rod hot rodders. One other one that's kind of cool is Holler. I haven't seen this probably when, in. When it came out, everybody, it, like, they bought them up fast. They went yep. away quick. And now. Wasn't this about, what, eight, ten years ago? A longer than that. Longer than that? I, I want to yeah. say it was, you know, before that. <laughs> 
Okay, here is box number three. Let's take a look inside. Here we go. Oh, whoa. Now, there is, looks like there's some really old stuff there's in here. There's some really cool old and stuff And some here. reissue. Some Real reissue. old right there. You know, check this out. Look at that. Oh, it's this a, is what I wanted to ask you. What is SMP? SMP is, well, pre-AMT. Uh, because, yeah, it, it looks basic, like AMT. Yeah, it basically was... Was uh, it was AMT? It, you know what? Go over to Max's models. He did a great, great uh, documentary on AMT. So very cool looking kit. Yeah, it'll te he'll teach you Let's everything just, about just it. Fast, yeah. take a look. Well, what's cool about this is look, it doesn't even say what car it is. It just says it's a '61. Oh yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> it's so, a '61. And, it, and it's a custom convertible with a convertible top. How neat is this? But yeah, it's a Chevy, you know. It's but I wanted to show you guys what the quality, I mean, how everything yeah, has been did, boxed he, up. and He took good care of it. Everything was done really but well. There's, there's a couple things here we got to really show yeah, on show this, on this, this box. Way, Look at this. Wow. Just the box art's cool. The holy cow. A Tornado. The AMT Tornado. Not a common kit to find. Oh, this thing is neat. Look at nice condition tornado was just always a cool car it's so interesting what cool box art and then we've got this dodge charger and uh oh these mach these, ones these mach ones i'll tell you what cool box i love the box art from the old days that's that's like half the fun of all this stuff like some of these kits have been put out and put out and put out but when you get them where you got different box arts they're so fun to display here we are here is the next box and i think you guys are going to get a kick out of a lot of the stuff that is inside here <laughs> what is this oh are we looking at some promos Yes, you are. Sealed oh, promos from... Wow. Uh, Let's just take a look at one of them. I just pulled this one out randomly. What's it say on the box there, Andy? This is a 56 Olds. A 56... Wow, guys. In red. Okay. Yeah. Look now, this at is that. a Johan kit, correct? Th these are Johan XL, they, they were called. When they were putting... These were actually reissued in the... I want to say late 80s, 90s. They were kind of reissuing some of their kind of bizarre four-door 50s cars promos as unassembled kits. Yeah, they, they were unassembled. So a lot of these, but still. You yeah, because it actually they, says they, Johan, right? Yeah, they Both didn't right Yeah, they didn't put them out for very long. And, uh, you know, that was a while ago. That was almost 30 years ago when they were pumping these out. And I actually it had It was kind a, of the last hurrah of Johan. Oh, okay. I had a hobby store in San Diego in the... Uh, the 90s and the 2000s. And I remember some of these coming out. Yeah. Yeah, they were just, they were a little bit better quality because they're not that celluloid plastic, so these don't warp. So these are really super cool. They build into really nice little promos. And then some of the other things that are in here. But I wonder, like, that looks like an old one. Yeah. Now See, it, now look at the difference. That is an old one. It's missing parts. But it's, look at that. Look, but... This is for the old ones that would warp, but look at how good a condition. And then I believe this was uh, the metal, uh, die-cast metal there for the bumpers. Yeah, when you yeah. feel the plastic on this, it feels completely different than what modern-day plastic yeah, feels that's like the, now. That's the celluloid plastic that does the warping. And like I said, all the ones that we've been finding in this collection are in really good condition compared to what you usually find. So this is a 58 Ols, based yep. on what it's saying right there. Yep. Let's see some of the other ones that are in here. Oh, let's show them one of the promo kits here, too. Yeah. Hey. So you get, whoops. Look at that. As I break it. Yeah, the way to go. Um, all the parts. Let me see. The bumpers. And these are definitely the reissued ones. In the, fact. These are the reissued, but still. You can pull it out of the bag, yeah. Let's show them for a sec what it looks like. These reissues are neat back in the day i didn't really care about buying them and i had wish i did and they're just cool i mean an old 50s four door you know they're getting cooler cooler up these days but look at that it's beautiful quality these were old uh, old molds back then what do you think happened to the molds uh there's a lot of theories and i i actually got personal involved in one that was could have been bad but there were some disgruntled employees when when the company was going out, 
and when uh, when the company got bought by an individual, there were some people that were pretty mad, and some of the molds vanished. Is uh, basically what happened. No one knows what happened to them. Okay, so for the reissue, Joe Hans, there's a '56 Plymouth, '56 Olds, '56 DeSoto, another '56 Plymouth, Olds. Did you see something? I did. What'd you see? I gotta know. I don't know. <laughs> it just says Super Stock or Cuda. They never reissued this. And this is like a pretty sought after one. Let's see what this is. If this is a resin body? Yeah, it's a resin body. How strange. Okay. Somebody cast that up. That was a very popular kit. <laughs> I wouldn't. Eh. It's not what I thought it was. Oh, okay. It don't matter. Okay, next up, uh, I know Luke is going to like this one right here because this is something that I know he's really into. No, I'm not into these at all. There are a lot of Camaros Zing right here. pow! Yeah, these are the cool... I love MPC Camaros, especially especially the, se the second gens. And that is one of my favorites because it's one of the rare ones that is cast in white. But, uh, but what is all this... This That's stuff. all added on stuff. It's just a stock uh, Z28 in there. Oh. And uh, it, these are really the same kit, all these MPC second gens, and then the MPC third generation. MP, I, I'm an MPC nut anyways, but these are really great third gen Camaros. And these are basically all the same kit. That's, I, I'm kind of sentimental with this box art. I remember buying it when it was new. But uh, these are very, very, they build into beautiful little cars. I personally like them better than... than um, anything else that was out there. Even AMT had one. I like the MPC better. But this is a pretty cool kit. Even though they've reissued it as a, as a, um, a GTX, um, when you get it as a satellite, it's kind of a mishmash between a satellite and a Roadrunner. You can build a really cool Roadrunner. There's parts in this kit that was really only around in the early days. When they reissued it, it was different. Pop it open? Yeah, let's take a look. But quite honestly, I think we have... We have two here. One might be an even earlier one. Oh, look at how it's taken, taken good care of. Yep. But this one just had... Actually, uh, the muscle car modeler did a really, really good video comparing all the different different ones. So you go check his out. He'll tell you all the differences and why this one is really cool compared to the uh, later ones. Here we go. This is, this is a, a nice box inside here. Not all super old, but very nice stuff. Oh, oh, well, hmm, this is an overload. Are yes. there any Craigers in here? Yes. Oh, you guys all know how hard, even back when they put these out, they were here and gone so quick, and there's a couple sets of Craigers. I guarantee you right now there's a couple guys out there in YouTube lab that are zinging right now. <laughs> I am. Holy uh, cow. And, then... and this Johan, I mean, you barely ever find this one. And there's five of them here. They're all probably in about the same condition. Look at that. Actually, I opened some of them earlier. Some are orange, some are... Oh, well, yeah. yeah, that was really common. It was always a crapshoot with, uh, with Johan. You never knew what color you were going to get. But uh, And e even that, the two oranges are different. Yeah. <laughs> look at how pale that is, and look at how nice and even... It's got a nice, smoother sheen to it. That, that was always the fun thing of Johan. And then I think there might be. I bet a, you it'll be a, like an aqua one or something. No, another orange. <laughs> Let, let's let's see. Ah, for fun, we might as well look at the other one. See what we got here. What's it going to be? Is it going to be orange? No, I I think. This look is, at that. <laughs> this, is, this is regular is that color. Pale. <laughs> that off white. But yeah, something different. Okay, there. we got one more. We want to look at it just to see. Yeah, to see what it is. We got because we got to at this point. Oh boy, this is neat. And will it be orange? It's orange. <laughs> this one was ah. actually a started kit. It's so kind of started. I doubt it. So one, four out of uh, yeah, and then some old shabby. AMT parts packs. These are great. You know, they have some detail in them. These look like all the same one. Let's see. This is this is something too. This is a very old parts pack. Oh, an old one. Yeah. I, mean, I don't even think they reissued that, did they? I never saw it again. I don't remember. No. Sixty-nine cents. So seventies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sixties probably. 60s, oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. And then, uh, or... Well, the, yeah, look at this, too. You've got a bunch of uh, the muscle car. Are these all the same? No, they're all different. So there's a whole bunch of... That'll be cool to go through, see what you got. You got all them tires. They came and went. 
But wait, there's more. Oh. <laughs> there's all kinds of those. So. Oh, you got... Wow, the shelves are going to get filled. Ooh, and this is a cool one, too. Shelves. The Fujimi. Boom. Oh, there's the oh, other Malibu. One remember. of my favorite kits, right? <laughs> there's a couple of, you know, different box art, but just a cool kit. This thing has so much great parts. We all know about this. I've covered this thing a million times. Maybe I'll get back on that build. But it looks like everything's in there. That's cool. That's just a fun kit. It's, it's, it's actually gaining in popularity now. Nice. And then this right here. This has got a postmark of 1988 on it. So what is that? So the 64 Ford that just came out with the trailer and the Falcon on it, there was a time where everybody was looking for that because it had been gone for years. It was an annual from the 60s. And then Blue Printer in the late 80s, when they were coming out with rare stuff, bringing it back, you had to mail order it. And uh, that was the only way you could get the 64 Ford. I actually have one at home. That's from that that run. That's that's just cool. Now the the car's been put out a couple times, but that was that was a neat thing back in the day. And then what about these? Are these original? Those look to be. They feel. Let's get that out. Let's take a look at it. Forty nine. You know the forty nine Ford, which oh yeah. Yeah, that yeah, was original. Remember in the other video we had that one that was started. Well, here's one that's not. That's in that cool primer gray. I have never seen anything injected molded in primer gray like that. That is really super cool. Gee whiz. I'm crushing on this kit right now. <laughs> that thing's neat. And also 49 Mercury. So you get a 49 the, Ford. The 49 Ford and a Ford. This is a nice little pair of kits right here. Oh, those are the original decals too. That's, yeah, it's in black. Uh, it's all taped up, but we know what that Merc. That's basically like a Joey Chitwood. This is the uh, this is that Joey Chitwood Mercury. Oh, let's put this in here. Oh yeah. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, advertisement. Adver look at that old AMT advertisement. Ha. Here is something else I want to show you guys too. I found in a box. This is obviously an old how to begin building models. Oh, I need that. How cool is that? And oh, there it is, 1973. That was what I was looking for. And it's it's just interesting to read the old, the how-to stuff. Look at that modeling cement there, <laughs> and the old testers bottles. Wow, this is just you know a slice of model car history here. That's that's what that is. A little bit of everything inside there. Oh it's yeah, using using micro mask. Look at that. Wow. Wow, that's that's mind blowing. <laughs> I like it. Cool stuff. Cool little little magazine. And next up, wow, uh, wow, a this whole a, box of Torino. <laughs> I just see something that's really interesting here. Holy cow! So, yes, this Torino is an incredible kit. It's got such great parts. It builds into actually a really really good looking NASCAR build. Very pretty much. All you can do is a NASCAR out of it. But there's something very interesting. Do you see the difference between the box art here? You got yourself some original early 70s version, and one is sealed. These were kind of like out in the 80s and 90s, but this is early 70s. Very similar box art. Right. But this is the old one. That's got, obviously, the, the old ones have the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was just a little more simple. NASCAR kind of, racer? They, they, li they livened it up a bit in the 80s, you know, make it a little more appealing to sell. And it says oval track <laughs> racer. I wonder if they weren't allowed to use it the was word NASCAR. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there was a licensing issue, too, that probably prompted them. They figured, well, let's just change some of the font and bring it more modern, because this yep. was in the 80s. And then we go over to here, and here's another thing we've got. These modified stockers. You know, you, got, you see the, the newer AMT... So this is obviously was the reissue. How cool is that? But you got some originals here. Similar but different. Wow. That's, yeah. That's, Show them the bottom of this one too, because there's yeah, this actually is, advertising yeah, this, on the this bottom. This is weird. Yeah, look at this one. We know You don't normally see, uh, we'll more flip. Yeah, yeah let's flip it around. I've never seen that before. Any of you guys? Make a comment down below. 
That's pretty interesting. And they've reissued one of those fire engines just recently, too. Yeah, they did. Yeah, because fire engines, yeah. Yeah, so we got the new one, we got the old one. You can see modernized, and you can, this old vintage, that just looks cool. Before we open that up, this was in a box all by itself. We just thought we'd throw this one out there. Here's a, a sealed snake and mongoose combo. That's always a oldie but goodie. <laughs> That's popular a popular one. That's a really cool kit to get them both. All right. What else do we have in here? Yeah, a couple of cool things. There's another ASA car, the Ford. 57 Chevy Funny Car. Oh, Dang. these I haven't seen in a long time. That? These were real popular, weren't they, Andy? Yeah, they were. Anytime you have a race car and a trailer, it's always been a popular kit, but that's also not uh, not a kit you can find a lot, that little, yeah. little modified Ooh, look at sprint this. car. Look at this thing, too. Hey, what do we got there? That is a... Ancient. Very, very old. Can we take a look at it? Let's look at that. Let's take. Let's look. Ooh, Ooh advertising. Wow. And advertising. Yeah, that's ancient. They're shot, but... Look at this. There's that that gray again. Man, AMT was like putting out this really cool gray color. I guess they were going for that hot rod primer look. What a neat, neat kit. And look at you could put a regular hard top roof on it. And in here there's also how cool is that? Look at that. A convertible top. It's got a little bit of tire scarring there. That hey, it's an old kit. What do you expect? That's super cool. Okay, we're going to take a look at one more box here. We don't want this video to go too, too long. And I need more time to start digging through all the stuff to bring it out to you guys' attention. But please, in the comments down below, if you remember any of these kits growing up or have any questions, please go put them down there and we'll try to answer as many as we can. So let's take a look at this box. Ooh, we got some neat stuff here. Haven't seen some of that box art in a long time. Oh yeah, that's a cool box art. I mean, again, these are kits that got reissued, 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 but it's so cool looking at all the old box art. These uh, these old Ravel Tri-Fives were just, they were super popular. And here's another one here. I, wow, that was, it. that is an old vintage. Old vintage, that box is very cool. 1964. Yeah, that tells you how old these, these kits are and they kept, Churning them out up into the 90s, I believe. We got There's some Corvettes. Vets. Another 54, the 50 Ford convertible. We've been seeing the 49. And hey, this is this is a car that kind of used to get. Yeah, they're always around, and now they're not around anymore. And now they're. I've been seeing these going for a lot of money. People are really wanting it. It was a really good kit, but everybody was so accustomed to it. It was so easy to get a hold of, and now they're not. That's what's neat about all this stuff. Okay guys, and real fast before we go, I uh, want to give you another heads up about the IPMS Nationals coming up in Las Vegas, Nevada, August 18th through the 21st. Uh, it's going to be great to go to model show. We haven't had much for the last year and a half. It's going to be fun. And myself, as well as Lucas C, are I'm both going to be there. there. Come so, on over and say hi to us. Yeah, come, come we'll and We'll be say all hi. around that place. Huh? Absolutely. So there you go, guys. I want to thank you as always for watching, and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.